Jerry Sandusky was able to post bail, and it was an unsecured bail of $100,000. Now, a lot of people were questioning why he was able to post $100,000, and it was an unsecured bail, which means he doesn't even have to post the money unless he doesn't show up to court, right? He just has to guarantee the collateral for it or something, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, people were questioning that, and it turns out that a little investigating uh, turned into uh, information about Leslie Dutchcott, who is the judge who allowed him to post bail for $100,000. Um, it turns out that she actually worked for the Second Mile, which is the charity that Jerry Sandusky had created and op operated. Right. And which he was, by the way, banned from working for after a certain point. I think a few years ago, I don't know what year it was, but I think since 2008, maybe 2006, he was no longer allowed to work for the charity. Right. So now people are wondering whether or not there's a conflict of interest. I don't think there's any question about it. There is a conflict of interest. Um, prosecutors had originally asked for uh, the judge to uh, set bail at $500,000, and if he was able to post bail, he would have to wear one of those ankle uh, monitors so pe you know cops would have an right. idea of where he is and what he's doing. But no, none of that. Uh, he was able to post bail for $100,000, and it was an un unsecured bail. So uh, it's really interesting when you look at the this case and you look at the number of people who either kept quiet or covered up and even when it comes to the judge there's a huge conflict of interest. Yeah I there mean, is a conflict of interest and I, I think it's a human conflict of interest not excusing it I think that you know what 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 happens she's known she knows Jerry Sandusky in one capacity she she should recuse herself from any involvement in the case. I'm not saying that what she handed down was wrong I, I another judge may have done the exact same thing. 500,000 of the prosecution's always asking for more and asking for you know greater restrictions on that person's uh, you know way of living while they're uh, out on bail but just recuse yourself say I worked on this guy's uh, you know I'm I'm Leslie Dutchcott and I, I worked I volunteered for the second mile I can't be on this case I, I what I don't understand is why she didn't do that yeah I don't and, either and, and the only thing I mean look well, no one really knows right but yeah. the only thing only logical explanation that you can come up with is that she wanted to help him out and yeah. if that's the case then you shouldn't be a judge because this guy is being accused of these horrendous horrendous crimes and if if he's found guilty of these things <laughs> How could you live with yourself knowing that you allowed him to post bail for $100,000, an unsecured bail, and you didn't recuse yourself right. when you had the opportunity to do that? You're basically helping him out. Well, you're helping him out. Okay, let's say you're helping him out, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'll just take the other side, even though I agree with you 100%. Oh, let's say you're helping him out. I mean, th this is what a judge does. A judge sets bail. Uh, Jerry Sandusky is perhaps not a flight risk. Uh, I, you know, I, I think his only risk, and this is me looking at this right now, is is to him to his own self. I, you know, I can't believe he still is alive. I, I, he just seems like the kind of person who would just drown himself when he saw this. But, 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 the, 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 I mean, this is a hundred thousand dollars. It's unsecured bail. Is that common? Is that normal? Is that within the law? She volunteers for three or four other things, according to one of her law profiles. I mean, she's pretty prominent in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, she probably knows everybody that she's has to sentence to a degree, and that's exaggerating. But I, you know, I don't know. What would another judge have done? Is 100000 unfair for this, or is it? Uh, or should he have just been remanded? I, I don't know. I think that he should have gone to jail and not been allowed to have bail. But that's me, and they're, you know, the law is the law, and this is... You right, know, that's my take on it, and I'm curious to see why she came up with that conclusion. You know, a hundred thousand yeah. dollars unsecured bail is okay with me. I, I'm very curious what her thought process is. Right. And you know, I'm glad that first of all, she had an online profile that disclosed all this information. Yeah. So it's really interesting that she was ballsy enough to allow that type of bail, uh, knowing that she has all this information readily available online. Right. So I'm very curious to see what her thought process is, and I don't know if she's going to face any consequences for for what she did here. I don't even know if she did anything illegal. All I do know is that there is a clear conflict conflict of right. interest and something should be done about that. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, if you, like, if you are... I mean, thousands and thousands of people probably volunteer for the second mile. They have events all over Pennsylvania. They have events probably in other places. She may never have met Jerry Sandusky in her life, and it just may be, you know, if I worked on a Habitat for Humanity house and I was a judge and I happened to have to sentence that guy, uh, I don't know. I mean, I you know, it just it just seems like it was too little anyway. Forgetting mm -hmm. that she knew the guy, why? How? How only a hundred thousand dollars? Why was he not remanded? I mean, there's enough evidence, and there were enough 
incidents that it seems like he should have been remanded. When a grand jury report says that there are eight potential victims yeah, that you get, have get so molested, yeah, sexually assaulted, yeah, get this guy off yeah, the street. And I don't understand why the prosecution didn't ask for that, why they only asked for a half million dollars and an ankle, an ankle bracelet, you know? Right. But that's why I'm sitting here and they're lawyers, but they're not doing a good enough job.